most people food is okay for dogs, but there are some foods that are deadly, so here are the things you need to know to keep Fido wagging his tail and home from the vet. You don't often see Angela Potes without Rio by her side. I've always been like, if I've got Rio, I'm good. So when a sudden illness hit Rio, it was a devastating blow to Angela. She helplessly watched as her energetic, playful dog started slipping away. Some people at the vet were like, we love him, he's so sweet, he's so quiet. That's not Rio. The culprit, something you may not expect. I'd heard that grapes were bad for dogs, but I've also heard that chocolate is bad for dogs. And I've known a ton of dogs that have eaten chocolate, maybe an upset stomach, sometimes nothing, and are fine. Rio went counter surfing and snacked on the seemingly harmless fruit drying in her kitchen sink. Angela says Rio first had an upset stomach. The next day, he wouldn't eat. She took him to the veterinary emergency center. Right then, as soon as they did the blood work, found out he was actually an acute kidney failure. Dr. Nathan Lippo didn't treat Rio, but says any amount of grapes can be toxic to a dog. The toxin in the fruit is unknown, but we do know that it's in the flesh of the grape, not the seeds, not the skin. Uh, it's a water-soluble toxin, so it affects them pretty badly. Chocolate tops the list for toxicity in dogs, followed by grapes and raisins, onions, garlic, and macadamia nuts. Damage to a dog varies with each food, and you won't notice your dog is sick the moment it eats toxic foods. Unfortunately, it takes about 12 to 24 hours for signs to appear, but at that point, the damage is already done. If your dog receives treatment right away, Dr. Lippo says the prognosis is good. Symptoms include acting lethargic, not eating, and vomiting. Flushing the system and soaking up the toxin begins the recovery process. It was touch and go for Rio. Four months later, Rio is how Rio should be, for the most part. He's not 100%. They think that there is probably permanent kidney damage. While treatment was a huge expense to Angela, the cost didn't matter. Tara Morgan, America Now.